ដោយនាងអង្គការសង្គ្រោះកម្ពុជាទៅកាន់អង្គការសហប្រជាជាតិសេហ្វខាមប៊ូលជាអ្នកស្រីខែលីលែនរីហ្គនតំណាងអង្
the member states get to shape and form their opinions based on what the Khmer people say. So this is part of the of what actually makes this work so well, part of this process, why it is helpful um, and why it is empowering for the community in general. This is where you get to take a stand and say what needs to be done for the democracy within the borders. When when you say uh, member states, do you mean all the hundred plus member states or, you know, like members, uh, the signatory members uh, state uh, to the uh, 1991 Paris Peace Agreement? So it could be any of those. Now, it now that's, those. it could be, right. So as we know, it's a process, right? So when we're talking about member states, we could be talking about, uh, for, for example, uh, member states of Europe, it could be the EU itself. We could be talking about the European Commission and being in conversation with them, with the United States, with Australia, right? So, and that's why I, I cannot speak for the member states themselves, but but because the community has been saying, has been telling them that there has been there's been repression, there's been transnational repression, and repression of democracy, repression of opposition parties, then the member states can listen and be aware and they can respond in kind. Okay. Yes. I, I, I spoke to our American friends who work to promote human rights for all, justice for all, mm -hmm. uh, condemn rights violations and corruption. They confirm what we have observed, that uh, Washington doesn't want to talk about Cambodia. They mm -hmm. almost forget where Cambodia is right now. Uh, what can the UN do if Washington just gets up, goes along and, and get al gets along with Cambodia's government? Okay, so um, I think that we need to... Um, Consider that the process for what is happening again. So remember, this is something that doesn't happen overnight. Right. And, you know, we can't necessarily say like Washington can speak for itself. But, you know, as a representative, I cannot speak for Washington. Now, that being said, that doesn't mean that Washington isn't listening. Right. So everything that we're doing, this is where Washington also is starting is starting to listen more. And that if we submit the information, this is where Washington could potentially take a stand and have an opinion and make a statement. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's good enough. Yeah. Uh, Cambodia's new prime minister, Hun Manet, of course, mm -hmm. prime minister's son, prime minister's father, of prime minister's son, just visited New York to address the UN General Assembly. Uh, outside the UN headquarters, Cambodian Americans protested his presence. At the same time, he is there as the head of the Cambodian government, the official guest of the United Nations, succeeding his father, whom the UN and rights groups have rebuked for decades. How do we make sense of it all when a human rights abuser, violator, is allowed to address the world as if nothing happened? Right. So, I, okay, so I think that, again, that there are those who are becoming aware and who are, who, to whom the data is made available so that they're not ignoring that this happened, right? And before an action can be taken, there has a, there is a process that must be addressed. Now, I think what what's really interesting is that on October 11th, there's going to be in Geneva, there's going to be a special review. The special rapporteur. Yes, yes. Now, this is key. Okay. So we have the UPR coming up in May of 2024, spring of 2024. Okay. That's happening in Geneva. Um, that is, shall we say, one of the, the big dates, so to speak. Now, and as I said earlier in the interview, everything that is happening now, everything that Save Cambodia is doing and that the Khmer community is doing united in diaspora, right? Everything that they are doing now is helping to build to that moment. This is this is this is what matters in the moment. So October 11th, the special rapporteur. So this is going to take place in Geneva, too. Yes. Vitit okay. Muntarborn, who was the who released the report last um, August of 2022, where he outlined 20 benchmarks, right? There were 20 benchmarks that the Hun Sen administration, the Hun Sen government, 
needed to meet in order to be considered a government that was democratic, that had free and fair elections. And I think it's worth repeating again, and we know that the Hun Sen government went in the opposite direction. The Hun Sen government doubled down. Now, here's again, so I'm going to come back to October 11th. Okay. This is key because Cambodia is getting more attention. Uh, the rapporteur will not call for a special review unless there's something worth noting and something that needs to be discussed sooner rather than later. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And that means that there is something significant happening. There is something more to present right away. So we could say the fact that we could. We don't know for sure. We won't know until he presents his report. But it is interesting to note that after Hun Sein handed over his prime minister seat to right. his son, Humanite, right. that the rapporteur did call for this. Okay. That is significant. So, so oh. the world doesn't seem to recognize the election as legitimate uh, rather than the passing, you know, the keys, the... Uh, office keys to uh, his son. Uh, my uh, next question. Uh, Western analysts uh, said the new Cambodian prime minister would follow his father's footsteps to stay in power, ostracizing any credible opposition groups. Is there a UN mechanism that uh, can reactivate the Paris Peace Accord of 1991 on Cambodia since it was part of the agreement? Uh, what is the, the impetus, I mean, uh, uh, for the UN to take the, the action? Right. So, you know, part of that is going to be part of what's happening um, in at the UPR. And that's where that can be highlighted because it's not just about, it, it's, it's, right, so we're acknowledging, like, the significance of the P Paris Peace Accord and how important that was, right, and how binding it is because it was a signed agreement. In, in, the, in recent years, Cambodia signed nine other treaties, Right, that that are yeah. supposed to acknowledge stability and human rights, and this is also going to be reviewed as well. So, in addition to all of that, right? So, this is where things are going to become compounded at the at the review in spring. Yes. Right in spring. I. I re let again. I remember when I was in Geneva uh, some years ago when uh, oh. Surya Subedi was uh, the uh, uh, UN rapporteur uh, for Cambodia. Uh, he he made over a hundred or nineties or a hundred uh, recommendations for Cambodia to uh, fo and follow up with them. But uh, so far, uh, nothing has happened, and uh, things seem to be like business as usual. So uh, my my. <laughs> My concern uh, is that uh, someone who was born and raised in Cambodia uh, some 50 years ago, uh, what else uh, the world can do to help Cambodia? I understand that the part you just mentioned, uh, yeah. the Cambodian community here in the United States should get together, do something, and you know, support, save Cambodia, uh, make their voice heard uh, to member states at the United Nations. But what else? Is there anything else? Do you see anything besides that? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. And here's what's so exciting, too. Right. So coming from a place of compassion, but also a place of, you know, exciting hope, um, we need to be active. I mean, I'm I'm part of this because I was invited and yeah. I, I really love being active with the Cambodian community and everything that this represents and the cause. And we have to amplify our voices. I was I was at the protest on the 22nd. I was there with the community. It was, it was so great to be there. It was such an honor. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, so, so many people from the from the um, Khmer community were there. Right. I was what? talking to as many non-Cambodian people as possible. And another friend uh, who also decided to volunteer, that personal friend of mine who volunteered that day, was joining in with me. I see. Western non-Cambodian people want to know what's going on. As soon as they know what's going on, as soon as they're made aware, right. they are in support 
of what of establishing democracy once again and ending the oppression within the borders and also the transnational repression. Every time we talk about any issue, but definitely the lack of democracy, the suppression of opposition and transnational repression, that gets their attention right away. And the more, especially young people, please bring young people who are not Cambodian in. I'm doing everything I can and I'm doing it absolutely joyfully. So here within the college campuses and elsewhere. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, this is great work. I mean, you have done great work for uh, Cambodia and the, pe- uh, the pe- people of Cambodia. Uh, I'm trying every my, day. Yeah, it's my, my honor. Right. My, 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 my last question, I know you have to uh, run, you have to do something else. Uh, does Safe Cambodia work with the U.S. government to implement existing U.S. laws on foreign corrupt dictators? So, you know, Safe Cambodia is an NGO, right? right. And right. Safe Cambodia... One, one, three, three. yeah. Right, right. So, um, you know, and when it comes to actually creating policy, um, your so your question is like, has has State Cambodia itself created a state or a federal law? Is that what you were thinking of, or well, am I no, work, work, getting work, work with U.S. government? You know, the oh. administration, Joe Biden, the administration, right. uh, like you know, in terms of. Uh, what can they do? They have the existing law, right. like, for example, right. the Magnitsky Act, something like that. Uh, right. But, uh, uh, I mean, have you uh, gone into this area to work with the U.S. government? Okay, so what Save Cambodia can do is Save Cambodia can talk to government officials legis- and legislators. So that's that's what Save Cambodia has been able to do, and we've had those conversations, and they've been going quite well. Um, it will be up to the legislator to it will be up to the legislator to actually propose something. Um, of course, like we hope they do so. I was, you know, I'm sure everyone again in within the borders of Cambodia and in the diaspora, I'm sure that they want that to happen as well, sure. right? So of course, you know, it wouldn't necessarily be Save Cambodia writing the legislation itself, as much as you know, being there to inform, once again, it's, it's all about information. If the legislator doesn't know what's happening right. inside, but also when they hear about the transnational repression, and this is why we're encouraging people to get the word out to people who are not in the Cambodian com- community, that's what will make the difference. Okay. I understand the other part, 501c3 status doesn't allow right. you to influence right. the policy, something like that. Right. But anyway, right. just just working and, you know, yeah. as an advocate uh, for of the good. Yeah. Humanity. Uh, I, I think there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Right. Uh, Miss uh, uh, Kelly uh, Landrigan, uh, anything you want to say before I let you go? One minute. Oh, uh, well, well, just a, just a second, please. Uh, my uh, colleague wants to ask you a question. Of course. Sarada. Hi, Miss Kelly. Very nice uh, to have you on our show today. Uh, it's very great and very honor and very pleasure to have you uh, and talking a lot about, you know, how to restore Cambodian democracy. Uh, my question, I, I hear you like talking about uh, trying to promote uh, non-Cambodian, uh, you know, to join the the movement to restore democracy in Cambodia. So what what is the benefit of that? Well, if the benefit is this, is that when other people know what's going on, when they are educated on the issues, then they can, number one, be aware. Number two, they can also participate in decision making. They can participate in call to action. If they don't know that this is going on, they cannot do anything. Or in, in, in a way, they're innocent. So as much as there is going on around the world, we all know we, we're living in this in a digital age where we are receiving so many headlines and all these so many headlines also have lots of importance and lots of weight. Right. But then when we make that person to person contact, it, make, it makes all the difference. And we saw that in action at the rally on the 22nd. It was, if I may use the word, it was even magical. People were, they, there were young people that were so, they were happy, they were grateful to be able to realize what's going on so that they can also be part of the conversation too and be supportive of the Khmer community. So how do the Khmer community working on that? So, how, you know, uh, do, do they have to, I mean, 
increasing their, you know, um, strategy or plan uh, clearly to in order to attract more non non Cambodian, uh, you know, uh, advocates uh, in order to uh, to to persuade them to help Cambodian uh, issue. So sure. How do they do that? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, my suggestion is always start simple. Right. So if there is a, uh, a group, a neighborhood, a community group that you're a part of and there are people who are not Cambodian, if it is perhaps your your house of worship, if it's your school, your work, maybe your work, maybe it's a um, you're part of a hobby or anything. That's one way you can start talking to those people person to person. Um, it will depend on who you are, too. Like, I'm I'm a pretty outgoing person. So as you saw at the rally, I just walk up to anybody nice. who will listen um, that's that's another way too. Please also feel free, anyone listening, savecambodia.org. Please look at our website. You can find urgent action letters that you can sign and you can also share with people. You can also reach out to us right. for help with advice as to how to get things going within your community because there isn't any one single answer. There's so many ways that we can do this, and we can all do it together. Okay. Thank you very much, Kelly Landrigan. We appreciate your hard work, your support for the cause uh, of, uh, you know, for, for the well-being and uh, also the democracy and human rights and everything else uh, in Cambodia. And uh, we, we, we salute your, uh, your work uh, in this area. Thank you very much for your time this morning, and uh, we hope you will come back at some point. Absolutely. Geneva. I, I, would, I would love to meet with you again. Such a pleasure okay. to be here. Thank yes. you. And My thank honor. you very much, uh, Kelly Landrigan. Uh, she is the representative of Save Cambodia to the United Nations. Thank you very much. And thank you. To you. Take care. Goodbye. You too. Thank you. Bye. លោកអ្នកនាងទាសនិកជនជាទីមេត្រីអំបាញ់មេនេះជាកិច្ចសម្ភាសជាមួយនឹងអ្នកស្រីខាលីលានរីកិនអ្នកស្រីជាតំណា
ยืงอดองวอดคือถ้ายืงปรับเรื่องกี่เฮ้กี่ยูลอมปีใส่เรื่องเต๋อเนี่ยใส่เอาที่ฮอทานในทั้งไงเดอปรับขมายอเมริกันถุดพื้นป่าตกกรรมในองค์การสหประชาชาติเนาะเนี่ยใส่ก็จะโจรมมือสังเกตมือได้หายมันยีปรับมัดแพะบอดที่เนี่ยก่อนนั่งอเมริกันโดยเนี่ยนั่งถ้าหายไอ้มีเรื่องไอ้เด็กมอถือป่าตกกรรมในปีนี้ก่อนปรับท่าเกี่ยวถือป่าตกกรรมประชังหนึ่งวัตถุมิ่นในยุโรปมันเตยขมายได้บานลังการอำนาจตามระยะปุ๊กเอาจากโกนโดยเช่นไรฮะกีกอร์ยูลทาอีเรื่องนั้นโดยเฉพาะมันเต้าเต้มันแมนประชาธิปไตยเต้เฮ้ยขมายจังบานเตรียมเตรียมไปกีโจรวมเธอปาฏิกรรมจมูกยืนได้ในทั้งไงหนุ่มไทยที่มาพายปีใครกันยานึงเฮ้ยประตูมือที่เนื้อใส่เกาะสมกอลทาเนื้อใครดับใครโตลานี่ในไทยที่ดอกมุ้ยมีนกาจูบจุ่มขี้มุ้ยปีนิดมือลดำไปยกเลือกตัวนิยีนขนมชนะกร้อยขนมระดับกาลีนั่นคือทาสปริงดำไปตรวจปีนิดกิจการที่จำรานกาอภิวัตต่างหลายภายในสิทธิมนุษย์ประชาธิปไตยเสร็จสมบัติยังในไอองการสหประชาธิปไตยในที่สนักองการสหประชาธิปไตยในที่กรุงสุนายุปเทศวิบาทไทยบาสนาจีขมายยื่นรูปรวมคณีไทยนอมคณีทวีหยัดเป็นเช่นบะบะเตะจังบานอย่างนายจะปูขมายนุ่งจะเซตุสะเซตุกีกีหนึ่งโยกตัวปีนิดปิจารณาไทยอาจหนึ่งดักเป็นโจตัวขนมระเบียบเวเระขนมเปรกิจประชุมกีฮาวทากาปีนิดลางวิ่งเรียงรอลมรองมะกาลในไอองการสหประชาธิปไตยในกรุงสุนายุไทยกีหนึ่งดักระเบียบเวเระตัวลือปฏิกรรมปุจีเอาหาทางอนุสัตดำไปเอาปฏิกรรมปุจีอนุวัตเอาบ้านไทยเรื่องมุ้ยเดลก่อนก่อนสมกอลท่าเนรีการปิเศษองค์การสหประชาธิปไตยนั่งเลือกโยตุนิยีนเป็นนุ๊กคือเรื่องปฏิอำนาจปีอปุกเตกลโดยเฉพาะเรื่องแต่งอนุสัตแต่จีเรื่องได้สำคัญสำหรับขมายตัวเตอร์ไทยมันท่าขมายยืงในตีนาเต้เบอร์จองบางกาปลาโดจองคืนไว้เด็กหลุนจองบ้านนุ๊กคือเตาแต่รวมขี้มอกรมใบใจกรมปะปุ่ยขังในขังโนมันมันโจ้ขี้นั้นยื่นมันบานประดาวมือไปยอยรวมยื่นมือไปยอยปะปุ่ยคลุนมากรมมากรมโดยเฉพาะให้บานจีบทำไมยื่นมีนกาเปรสรัมใบบะนี่จีบกาบันไทยมาบอกขยมอะไรสังเกตขึ้นทางสังคมทำไมเนี่ยสไลด์บานปรามพยาปปนนั้นให้บริษัทนาจีมีนกาเงินชงอลอย่างนั้นจังบานปอดมีนมาไทยไอ้เสเซเตตงตัวตัวองค์การสังครูกัมพูชีนั้นให้เนสเรย์หนึ่งสวากุมจีนิกบัสนาจีจังบานกุมนิตหรือโยบอลแบบนานุบาเนจีพนัยมุยในเนตเดมีนบอดปิซาวด์ขังกิจการนู้ไอองค์การสหประชาชาติลูกในเนียงจิตติมิตรัยยืนขยมสมอคุณลูกในเนียงดับมาคัดคอมจำนายพิบลีตามนักสลับนักเทศนาการวิธีสายสารพอร์เมียนจากแคมบริยาเดลีตามบันไดสังคมเฟซบุ๊กเฮยยืนนั่งเวลตลอดหมดชุบลูกในเนียงเทียนนั่งไงใส่เปอร์เซนต์บอลลูกในเนียงเงินสมนุรุยบอลสมสเซตการการวิธีสายบอยยืนตามมาใส่ทาน www.facebook.com/slashwithoutfearorfavorkh ยืนขยมสมจูนโปลูกในเนียงอัมาประกอบจากสกเลสก์สกเลจิมรันครุบทีวีเดตรัยสมจิมเรียบเรียบ Thank you.